Prestigious club competition in European football. And now it comes down to this, the final itself. Who will prevail? It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City taking on Manchester United. Well, what a night, Derek. Two great teams, a perfect pitch, a magnificent stadium and millions watching around the world. What more could you ask for, apart from maybe different commentators? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Jack Grealish plays with Phil Foden out wide. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Manuel Akanji. Guardiola. Rodri. The lineup for Manchester United. Rafael Varane plays alongside. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. City get the corner. And De Bruyne firing it over. Oh, disappointing clearance. De Bruyne. Now with Grealish. Now just the tackle that was needed. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, he's their top marksman, but he's also a great all-round player. He just has that ability to go past defenders with such ease. Hopefully we see that again today. Foden. Walker now. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Rashford. It's looking promising. Loves to cut in from the wide areas. Textbook defending inside the box. De Bruyne. They're using the space really well, but now can they push on? On to Wan Bissaka. And City coming away with it. Foden. Here's De Bruyne. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Must take the lead here. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him.
So back at action, and it's up to United now to be inventive. Marcus Rashford. It's with McTominay. Bruno Fernandes has it. Maguire. And Rashford. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Really determined play to hang on to it. And there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley. Still plenty of time for them. What can they do in the second 45? Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. Breaking at pace. Manuel Akanji on to Silva Akanji has it fine sequence of passes Jack Grealish and what can they do to stop them running at them just the challenge that was required work from City to win back the ball and does well to keep it in play so half an hour remaining De Bruyne just trying to keep their opponents on their toes with the passing game Bernardo Silva on to Holland intervention being pressed and pressed high Maguire confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball unfortunately it wasn't enough to prevent the goal well you can see his frustration they've just lost their focus here Manuel Akanji Brian and out. Foden. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Robbery. Phil Foden. City move it forward with purpose. Into the centre from Walker. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Here's Juan Bissaka. It's 
He's got McTominay. Maguire. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in the future? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bruno Fernandes has it. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. He's going forward well here. And it's in! Manchester United forge ahead in the Champions League final with less than ten minutes to go. Just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And now the whistle, they all to hear Manchester United have painted the Champions League red well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Manchester United. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it? with your own supporters. Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. Manchester United are the winners of the